people. Working. All right. Well, all right. So you can hear my voice, but you can't see my face because decarbing process. So when I was writing my review on <clears throat> uh, Apple Earth, which is up on, look, let's check it out. Uh, I was discussing decarboxylation, which led me to oxidation of THC. Uh, oxidation of THCA to CBN, and obviously decarboxylation of THC to uh, THCA to THC. So I want to talk about all that fun stuff, decarbing, flashpoints, all that good shit. What's up? So, as you see in the picture. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to some fucking dogs. Obviously. No, the plants are not up yet. They have not popped yet. Unfortunately. But we're still waiting. They will pop. I have faith. It's only day three. Three or four. I'll start counting when they pop. So. Get some of this shit out of my head before I forget some of it. That was just, like, I just did a bunch of research and stuff, too. So, decarbing is the process. First of all, why can't you get a pure concentrate, right? Why is concentrates always, like, 78, 82? Diamonds, even, are, and THC isolates 92 to 98%. Why can't you get a full 100%? Uh, because some of it is lost during the process. For example, when you are making the dabs in a VTA wipe, there is um, partial decarboxylation when it passes through the membrane to cool back down. There's a flashpoint. It passes through to give you THC, and that changes back to THCA when it cools down. You lose some THC there. So it's just one example of when you're making distillate in a VTA where you lose some of the THCA. So it's during the decarbing or and or oxidation process that takes place either from heat or light, uh, or obviously oxidation through uh, exposure to oxygen, which can be perpetuated, like further uh, sped up by both heat and light. So decarbing of THCA is at 103 degrees Celsius, which I believe I don't want to give the wrong Fahrenheit number, but it's 100 degrees, 3 degrees Celsius. Don't ask me why I remember Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Um, now, THCA, when decarbed, that's tetrahydrocannabinolic acid. So that's the acid form of the psychoactive molecule in cannabis, right? tetrahydrocannabinolic acid. That decarbed is THC. Delta 9 THC, tetrahydrocannabinol, delta 9 tetrahydrocannabinol THC. Oxidized THCA exposed to oxygen, uh, perpetuated by heat and light, is uh, CBN. The CBN is unique. Uh, we know that because it, uh, if you think about CBN and its sleepy time effect and its association to indica, etc., there's a reason why CBN is associated with the psychoactivity, slightly. Uh, the other cannabinoids, non-psychoactive cannabinoids, you have together sort of in a group, you've got THCA, which I just discussed a little bit, uh, CBC, cannabichromine, and CBD, cannabidiol. Uh, CBGA, cannabigerolic acid, is essentially the precursor to all of your phytocannabinoids, including CBT, cannabigerol. Cannabigerol. God damn, it's fucking so weird to say. Cannabichromine, tetrahydra, tetrahydra, cannabiviral, cannabiviral, yeah, THCVA, tetrahydrocannabirolic acid. 
That's a long one. Tetrahydrocannabinolic cannabivirolic acid. So anyway, those three terpenes, uh, or terpenes, those three cannabinoids, there was a weird word that I just seen, uh, terpene, uh, it used the word terpene, but it, it, like, basically cannabinoids are under another larger categorization, uh, terpene or something. So anyway, doesn't matter. Big long word referencing terpenes, uh, which is interesting to me because I thought that cannabinoids were like totally separate from terpenes. Like, you know what I mean? Not totally, but different groups, but they're kind of not. They're kind of like... So, yeah. Anyways, so THCVA, TH, all right, those all, what was I trying to say? Yeah, those three come from, uh, and CB cannabigerolic, cannabigerolic acid, all, all those are derived from, let me see if I can remember the name of the shit, olivitolic, yes, olivitolic acid. And gerinol, gerinol diphosphate. Those two synthesized molecules um, create the uh, cannabinoids. Sorry, fucking brain freeze. So I was just reading a bunch of researching a bunch and I found a lot of stuff very like it was tying back into my terpological protocol. For example, I, I've discussed a lot about beta mercine, the studies I researched about beta mercine uh, proliferating THC uh, and CB1 receptors in particular. Uh, and discussing the potentiation because that happens that your your brain you have a semi-permeable membrane okay that blocks blood from your body from blood from your brain right? so that only the molecules that need to get in your brain get in your brain that semi-permeable membrane and the passage from outside a cell to inside a cell is controlled by an NACL channel <laughs> And there's something to do with the NACL channel that has to do with cannabigerol, CBG, impacting the anti-nausea effect and other non-psychoactive effects of CBD. Again, interesting to me. I don't have all of this down pat exactly yet, but what I'm saying is correct and on point. I don't want to misspeak here because I'm talking all sciencey and shit. So, what was my fucking point? To take a dab, that's my point right now. I need to take a dab. Then I'll get my brain working some more. Seriously. I'm not even joking. All right, let me grab a lighter here. My girlfriend said, I have the butane. Oh, I do have the butane right beside me. Look at that. She's a brain wizard. I had a here. But I'm using my half dead fucking lighter for no reason. Sometimes filling these up are kind of annoying. Depends on if they actually cooperate and take it in. Take it all, motherfucker. Take all nine inches. So, one of my Facebook posts got fucking pulled down. All it was was a picture of the fucking puck of cookies. The one big apple. I tried to toast it. I was like, yeah, hey, good deals over the, uh, the apothecarium. Didn't say money. Didn't say purchase, sale, sell. Didn't even say cannabis. Yet, it got flagged and taken down. But I'm supposed to believe that it just happens once in a while, you know. And I, I mean, I don't know what the fuck they expect me to believe. Honestly, it's very obvious what they do. They they pull. They used to. It didn't used to be this down pat. They really got their shit down pat now on Facebook. 
Yeah, it, it's fucking, it's crazy. It, it's crazy. So they pulled that post down, even though Dab and Granny, 21 hours ago, posted her and her husband a video of them fucking ripping on a big ass fucking bong and many other videos thereafter. What she alluded to in her post, though, which is quite hilarious if you ask me, because she fucked with me about a year ago, and uh, that the man, something about the man, will just have to deal or something. So I, I think maybe her page is getting fucked with too. So I, I hope so, because it's really annoying seeing fucking people that, like a racist, drunkard, old person, uh, because she's old and that's like, novel and unique to the internet like i don't mean to be a hater but i, I don't like dabbing granny so anyway like facebook used to you used to be able to slip something through once in a while and get your content out to people like you once one in every like eight nine ten of my reels i could like change up my pattern of behavior like when i'm posting so i post at the same time every day and then slip one in like three o'clock in the morning one day that reel would hit like two, three, four, five thousand views. Go to my old pages and look if you don't believe me. And then I'm like, now I'm like, what? Zero views, five views, four views, 40 if I'm lucky. Sometimes a couple hundred if it's like something to, besides pot, right? So like my dog or something like that. Like my dog videos were getting like four and a half thousand views, like easy, quick on other accounts or like for example when i posted on my dog's account on instagram which has never had cannabis posted to it but i don't understand why it, it wouldn't fucking bother me if it was across the board but it's not because i have cannabis advertisements for cannabis fucking colleges pop up on my goddamn facebook feed so why is they allowed to pay Facebook to advertise a cannabis college to recruit people to teach them how to grow and process and fuck with cannabis? But I can't discuss the medicinal plant that I've legally obtained in my fucking medicinal and recreationally legalized state. I'll fucking ask me, ask Facebook. And their rules are like really, really underhanded. Like they are on Instagram, but Facebooks are like really just like yeah, we know what this sounds like, but fuck you, we're saying it. Like, I, I don't know. I guess people just don't fucking read them. They don't give a shit. They just take the Facebook jail and don't say anything. But it's, it's very aggravating. And, like, I know fucking accounts that, like, make money on Facebook and Instagram that do cannabis content. How? How? Like blatant cannabis content, not fucking rolling up fucking fruit roll ups in a goddamn or gummy bears in a fruit roll up or whatever the fuck that one thing was. Nothing like that. Like actual full on cultivation content or uh, up close dab or uh, dab photography or videography or up close fucking um, what's that one guy? Western Maryland photographer. No hate on him. He's got an awesome fucking account. But how in the fuck, it, like, he even said it was difficult for him to navigate. But he made it look fucking easy, honestly. I watched his account from when it was small to now. Anyway. It's pretty shit. So I got off topic there. Anyway, sorry. They deleted my goddamn stuff. It was just a post. The posts don't bother me, the stupid little pictures and reels and stuff like that. It's when I post my content or the fact that I know that nobody's seeing my fucking content when I do post it, like my articles and all that shit that I write and spend five and a half hours on the last one that I wrote. Go check it out. So, yeah, that's pretty annoying. Because where the fuck else am I supposed to advertise that? Where else am I supposed to put it at? If not the public square, if not town. Like, what did you do 20, 30 years ago? You went to town, went to the market to sell your stuff. So the market is now online. It's now centralized on the internet. And if you want to deny that, that's fine, but that's just the facts. It's on the internet now. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, that's the marketplace. 
So why is it okay to discriminate against certain individuals? Not even discriminate because you're not anything you're discriminating against is the type of content that they're making. So it's just fucking absurd. Anyway, dad, where did I just put my fucking bags? Got three there. No, I just got one out. How we go? I'm just gonna fucking fuck a dab out. Yeah. No, I didn't. I left it sitting out. That's what I did. I left it sitting out. That's all right. I took a dab a couple hours ago. Forgot to put it back away. This is the Mexican flan. Fuck it. Very good. Gassy, a little fruity. Oh. A weird gassy. I can't put my finger on it. I can't put my thumb on it. Come here, give me the good one here. One actually fucking works. That layer works, it just gotta settle. The blue has gotta pressurize. It's a dub layer. The bad part is that that's the ice lighter. That's the expensive one. Like ice heavy duty fucker. But when you put the butane in it, you have to let it sit for like 15, 20 minutes to pressurize. This one takes like 30 seconds. And I paid like 12 bucks for it. I think my aunt paid like 60 for that motherfucker. Don't ask me why. Probably because it worked better at the time. It still doesn't work real good. For me, anyway. I'm going to have to get it later, but that's okay. So. Oxidation of THCA leads to CBN, uh, decarboxylation of THCA leads to THC. So, the acid form of your cannabinoids, the tetrahydrocannabinolic acid turns to tetrahydrocannabinol. But not all of your cannabinoids are formed from an acid form of their counterpart, if you will. Maybe... It's not like how CBGA comes from, or CBG comes from CBGA, THC from THCA, CBC is CBC, CBN, no, CBC, CBD, and THC. See, there's too much in my head. Yeah, I'm going to talk about this. Okay, decarboxylation. So, the reason for low temp, it essentially it relates to decarboxylation. So, you partially decarb when you're making the dabs. That's why you can't get 100% dab, like I said at the beginning. But, when you smoke it, you're fully decarbing everything. Uh, essentially, that's what you're doing, is decarbing it. So, when you uh, smoke cannabis flour, what is actually happening, uh, and the reason for the volcano and vaporizers and things like that, is that you're, there's a difference between vaporization and combustion, which is related to decarboxylation, right? And uh, vaporization is your flashpoint. So flashpoint is referencing the point at which the liquid, liquid-like, becomes or gel, whatever you want to fucking call it, like concentrate, liquid, solid, becomes gas form. That's your flash point. Uh, okay, and you have different flash points up to the combustion point of T and THC. So combustion of 
uh, your combustion point of, of, I don't know, combustion. I just remember seeing, I'm, the graph is in my head, the table's in my head. Combustion, just said combustion. Anyway, so it's right beneath the um, level at which THCA is, uh, flashes over. So, and which THCA turns into THC and is inhaled. All right. That's what I want to say, right? Decarboxylation. Yeah. That's what I want to say. I think. Uh, I'll think more. Oh, yeah, take fucking notes from now. That's what I need to do. I need to start taking notes. Yeah, start taking notes and stop trying to rely on my goddamn brain to remember everything in fucking picture form. Is this is not really super hard, but it's like not for one thing, but for like a gajillion things, it is. I wish I was like not autistic, but I had like the super savant skill. Like, just one of them. I don't care which one. Just give me one of the fucking super savant skills. Like, make me fucking super fucking super duper awesome at my guitar. Turn me into the guitarist for Dragon Force. Only a real guitarist. Not 23 guitarists layered over each other. Last night. I'm Mexican flame. Blonde, I would say. This stuff is medicine. This is strong. It's got a nice. It's psychic. Like, can you get that, like, what I call tactile psychoactivity? To, Sensation that derives from this sensation of the smoke in your lungs and it spreads out from there. For me, that ties into the sativa like psychoactive component of cannabis, where it's the relaxing limb heaviness and muscle relaxation, calm and sedation is indica, obviously. And sativa typically. Honestly, for me, it makes me jittery. Sometimes I get a fucking nosebleed from sativas. So it happened on live several times. Just be fucking in the middle of a live. And I don't smoke almost like the only bourbon poison. That's a sativa, a full Landry sativa that I enjoy. But it's not a typical, it's not typical of your sativas at all. And see, the reason I study like Things like that, right? Like, like I'm talking about now, THCA, THC, THCVA, decarboxylation, all that shit. Like CBG affecting the uh, CBD activity. However, that said, I did say CBG affected negatively, uh, it impacted it by stopping it, lowering the presence of the... Uh, medicinal impact of the therapeutic impact of CBD, but levels of CBG, certain levels of CBG produced its own uh, anti-nausea as well as other therapeutic benefits. So it's interesting because it's interesting to me because like it's, it's quite possible that the people who know about the studies that I'm reading now don't know about the study on the fucking beta mercine and the proliferation through the uh, skin of, uh, through the proliferation in mice. Um, 
when injected under subcutaneously or intraperitoneally in lab mice, beta myrcene acted as uh, a painkiller, acted analgesically, and on the same level as prescription opioids, without acting on uh, drug-seeking behavior. Also, what uh, CBG has been uh, noted for, I think it was CBG in particular, was its ability to impact um, drug-seeking behavior in particular, like you know, the reward pathway-seeking behavior. I think it was, it might have been all of the cannabinoid stuff, but I think it was CBG in particular. This is that big apple, which I would imagine it was something made in New York. I would imagine big apple. Maybe not. Maybe it's just some fucking weed somebody had that was from New York and they fucking made some shit out of it. And then they called it big apple. I haven't studied it up on it yet. Oh, yeah, I did look up. Did I look up big apple? Yeah, it was... Uh, Animal cookies and sour apples. Yep, sour apples and animal cookies. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, if you're there, anybody out there, I don't know how my numbers read, if it's just Rumble or the other platforms too. So, uh, I'll say something about my goddamn article, but I can't I... check it out. I can't get the fucking. I keep repeating cannabinoidic acid over and over in my head. I don't know why, because I've seen like cannabinoidine, cannabigerol, cannabigerolic acid, cannabidiol, tetrahydrocannabinolic acid. That one's cooler than fucking tetrahydro. Viral, tetrahydrocannabinol, tetrahydrocannabinol, yeah, tetrahydrocannabinol, tetrahydrocannabinol, I guess technically is how you'd announce it, I guess, I don't know, cannabiviral, cannabiviral, it wouldn't be cannabiviral, 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 tetrahydrocannabinol, Tell me what tetrahydrocannabinol is. Tetrahydrocannabinol. Here's. I was questioning if I could get up there for a second. I did. Let's see if my new letters. Man. Oh. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -doop Can't wait for my plants to pop. I want them to pop. Come on, pop. Pop. Plants pop. No, take your time. Take your time. Don't pop fast. Take your time. Do what you gotta do. Three autos and two photos. No, three autos and one photo. Yes. Yeah, there's four. Yeah. No, duh. I'm going to have four. Yeah. Three autos. Two, no, two autos. Two photos. That's what there is. Yeah. Yeah. Two, four strands and one of each. That's what it is. Couldn't remember. It sucks that you're only allowed to have four fucking plants in a medicinal patient. Seriously, that sucks. I mean, 
that can look like a lot when it's full growth. When it's full grown. When it's not full grown, it doesn't look like so much. It sucks though, because like cannabis really doesn't like it, it when you see it and it's full bloom, that's when it looks like oh, holy fuck, that's a lot of shit. But at least whenever it's like topped and thinned and stuff like that. Like a lollipop isn't really good, it's like whatever, but yeah. Before that, it's not really like, I mean, they're big and leafy. Um, maybe it's just me. Tastes like fucking cake or something altogether. Mexican flame and beer. Obviously, decarboxylation is directly related to low temp dabs and getting proper dab temperature. I'm talking about your flash points of various terpenes and cannabinoids, which there's graphs in my article. I'm going to look at them. And there's links to the shit that's in there. You want to look at the stuff that I use to reference my stuff and validate my whatever. Stuff to death from last time. I remember. So it was after I'm, like made my lungs kick up. Fucking weird. I exhaled and it was like a mm -hmm. at the end of your exhale, but it made my lungs go like mm -hmm. like it was fucking weird. Kicks you in the chest. I didn't expect that with that shit. It's transcarry filing. You must have a shit ton of beta mercenary or something. I don't have a box in there. I'm gonna get those motherfuckers. It's gotta be a bunch of beta mercenaries. I don't know what else would be primary that would be fucking kicking like that. Ah! I only drop the pearls. Ow! Some bitch is hot, man. It's a hot motherfucker. No, don't get back in. Turn the fucking butane on later on before we can go back in. God damn, I drop that motherfucker every time I light this fucking torch. I need a camera just to focus on the lighter. To get every time I drop that son of a bitch off the chair. I don't know why I take dabs. I'm a devoted turf sleeper. I like turf sleepers. They're fucking pretty and cool. And the oil goes in the vacuum, and the vacuum pulls the oil up, and it's vaporizing. Decarbing, related to dabs, decarb, or fucking my little lung got taken away. Flashpoints, on the way up the decarbing ladder. Uh, 410 degrees Fahrenheit, I believe. Yeah, somewhere around there. 420, 430. It's good. Vaporization temp. But, um, decarboxylation versus combustion and the flour. I didn't finish that, did I? When you put the flour in like a volcano or a vaporizer, it gets heated up slowly. 
And depending on, I would imagine, as well as what temperature you need to, how fast you need it up. Mm. You activate the terpenes and cannabinoids on the way up the chain as you reach the temperature which you're going to. So, and you can reach combustion in a vaporizer. I used to have a volcano, and like you can ignite the fucking weed inside there. If you puff on it at like a high temp. But combustion is the point at which. So, what's the point of vaporization? Well, fucking vaporizer. Because there's less shit that comes in your lungs. You get less uh, tar specifically. There's more tar in cannabis than cigarettes. And people always think that's a bullshit fucking stat, but it's not. Resin is cannabis pipe versus tobacco pipe. Very easy fucking comparison. Um, yeah. I'm fucking stabbed right now. I don't even feel like chasing my thoughts. I could have grabbed that one, but I was a fucking Oh, I might as well take any of this stuff. This is the most sativa presenting thing that I have, and I'm pretty sure it's even an indica filament hybrid. It might be wrong, it might be sativa. But it's fruity gum and hazy kush. It, no, it's, it, it probably is sativa. It, it, yeah, it probably is. It's, it's got a fucking. Yeah, it's sativa. And it, it, or 50-50. I'd be surprised if it's indica. It's 83%. Typically, indica, you're going to see like 70s, sometimes into the low 80s, typically. And typically, with sativas, you have more THC. Think of like traditional cannabis knowledge. THC, sativa, CBD, indica. So... Yeah, you see more THC A. Uh, and specifically, when you see more THC, so when, if you look at the profile, and not only THC A is high, but you have like a lot of THC as well. Uh, yeah. Sativa. And very, very typically presenting. Another giveaway. Yeah, I think, I don't know, maybe people just don't find it as interesting as I do, but I think it's fucking random. Like when Green West screwed up fucking Gorilla Blue, right? it's an indica dominant hybrid, right? And after doing the study, it makes a little bit more sense and stuff, but they grew a strain that uh, Gorilla Glue just grew one that had terpenaline dominant. At least that's what the fucking profile said. And you could taste it and smell it in the weed, so it, it was correct. It wasn't wrong. I know what terpenaline tastes like for reading the profiles and smoking the shit. At least I know what terpenally dominant presenting cannabis concentrate tastes like. I want to learn that word that I fucking was just saying at the beginning of this. It was a categorization above cannabinoids to categorize like terpenes, cannabinoids, and it was. Like, I thought cannabinoids was, like, the overall reference, but it was, like, a more scientific term. It's, like, terpena, terpena something, terpena science, 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 suffix, science, suffix, yes, terpenolinity. Yes, I've taken three dabs out of the third slurper now. But I use the same slurper.
I think that's why the juicy fruit surprised me. That is why the juicy fruit surprised me when I was like a teenager. It's exactly why. That's what their pitlick tastes like. It's not berry. It's juicy fruit. Exactly what the fuck it tastes like. Smoke. Smoke some fucking Snoop Dogg OG. Sorry, look at my broken face. I'm sorry. Smoke some Snoop Dogg OG. I'm getting that fixed. It's getting fixed. I'm waiting for the approval. Uh, smoke some Snoop Dogg OG. And fucking. Smack your lips and think about juicy fruit. Bubble gum. You never tried it? Go get some and fucking try it. Tell me that you're telling it doesn't taste like juicy fruit. First time I smoked juicy fruit weed, it fucking blew my goddamn mind. I was so fucking high. But the taste of it, like it was, it was a combination of those two. It, like it kind of intensified the high for me because it was so fucking exotic for me at the time. Yeah. I never had anything like pink lemonade or anything, blueberry muffins or anything like that at that point. <clears throat> Much less of a deep kick in the chest. I mean, they're both smooth. The Mexican plan, and I mean, they're all three smooth. Yeah, three of them. Yeah, they're all smooth. This is Sunbed, though. They always have fucking nice concentrate. Except for the one jar that I got. I got one full eighth from Sunmed. And Bray West went to fix it. I went back to him since then, but it was all fucking dried out and shit. That sucked. It was an eighth of the beach and it was completely dry. Seizures. I don't know. Turn it on. Oh, shit. Now that's stunning. Oh, Chucky, you want to say hello? Come here. Come here. Let me put the camera back. Come here. Hello, people. Thank 
Let the camera see your face. Come here. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come here, Tuppy. Come here. Come here. Oh, stretchy, stretchy, stretchy. Oh, boy. Oh. He's mad because I'm talking to the camera. I am not allowed to talk to anybody, anything. No, not allowed. That is not okay, Dad. Don't look at me. Anyway. Hi, Daisy. Check out, hey, 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 wait, check out my freaking article, man. I spent time on that shit. I better get at least one freaking, like, at least acknowledgement that somebody was there and had seen at least a word on my damn locals page. And that's every one of those articles. That's not something new either, so. Like, fucking go check that shit out, man.